Okay, so we're going to continue on with a series of ventilator checks and pre-use checks. This is the PB840 by Covidian. Um, we can see this one's already circuited. We've got a, let me just put this on right. We've got an inspiratory filter with an inspiratory line bringing gas to our heater pot. A uh, blue line with heater wire all the way through it going down to my patient Y. It's got a temperature uh, measurement at the chamber. And temperature probe also just before the patient Y. Exhalation is also heated going into my expiratory assembly. This is my expiratory valve with my water trap. Push that in and you're going to push or slide that bar down to lock that in. Uh, here's your on button, a little window protecting it, so flick it up. Press it on. You'll see a couple of uh, lights and alarms. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go down to this SST, which stands for short self-test, and we're going to calibrate our circuit. So what you can do is you can push this, and you got to go down to the side and push this test button. It will time out on you, so make sure you do that relatively quickly. Uh, what you can do now is input your circuit. So I can do adult, peds, or neo. This is an adult circuit. Um, I can choose either heated or HME. This is a heated with a humidifier, so we'll choose this. This is the screen that we'll be uh, running our, cell, our SST in. So you can see we're going to do our flow sensor, our circuit pressure, circuit leak, expiratory filter, circuit resistance, and compliance. Down in this bottom right corner, this is where we're going to get our prompts. Right now it's saying connect our circuit with inspiratory filter and without humidifier. So what I typically do is pop this off, get it off my humidifier, and just pop that on. So I've bypassed my humidifier. I'm going to go ahead and select accept. It's now telling me to block the Y. Okay, I'm just going to pop a cap into my circuit here. I'm going to hit accept, and it's going to start to pressurize the circuit and measure the flow. So this might be a relatively boring video, but I want to keep it going through the entire test just so you see what prompts come up and what the steps are. Alright, down here now you can see it says connect humidifier if applicable. So I'm going to disconnect this, put back on my humidifier, take my feed my conduit and put that back on. Okay, hit accept. It's giving me a pass as a result for my flow sensor. It's now doing my circuit pressure test, circuit leak test. I want to be able to see that this is going to hold, uh, or sorry, hold pressure. You want it between 75 and 90. This flag looks like it's around 83, so we should pass here. What we have, it's telling me not to disconnect at from patient port. And that might seem confusing, but look at what it's asking you to do. And we're actually testing the expiratory filter, so from patient port is the expiratory. So I'll actually just pop this off. Okay. Hit accept. Connect to from patient port, so again, might be just a little bit confusing, but put that back onto the expiratory side. Hit accept. And now we've moved on to our circuit resistance. This is what I want to see in all my columns is that I've passed. So it's telling me now to unblock the Y, so I'm going to pop that cap out. Select OK. I dropped the cap, but that's all right. It will prompt me to use it again, but I can include it with my hand. There it is. It's telling me to block the Y again, so I'm just going to do that with my finger. Saying, is water in the humidifier? Well, that's going to change your uh, your dead space, so you can actually go ahead and select if water's in. Mine's not, so if yes, press accept. If no, press clear. So I'm going to press clear. Now it's doing the compliance calibration.
unblock the Y, and my SST is complete. You can see I've passed all my categories. Those numbers that are calculated for leak, expiratory filter, resistance, and cal or compliance will not be saved. And to, do, to exit out, you just go to exit SST, hit accept, and you can start to set up your ventilator.